All right. So in this case, we just need to have a continuation as a part of our clutches. Remember, we managed to have the theory of uh, friction clutches. And I explained that there are two theories that we're going to consider. The uniform pressure theory and another one which is uh, of the uniform wear theory. So the uniform pressure theory, which is the major part that we are going to consider in this class, is used or it is the major concept that we use when the components are new. So it is used when the components are new. So meaning to say it is used on new clutches. So whenever we are given a, to make calculations we are given make calculations they specify it's a new clutch that you're working with that is you have to consider these formulas that we are going to talk about when they do not mention you use as usual as an old clutch because it has been used guys so what is this about the uniform pressure this theory guys is based on the assumption that the pressure remains the same as we can see uniform pressure so it is based on the assumption that pressure remains what? Remains the same. Pressure is supposed to remain the same. So pressure remains the same from the inner to the outer radii. Thus the normal force will therefore decrease towards the inner radius as the area of the number of equals with concentric rings uh, becomes smaller. So the concept of the uniform pressure theory, guys, it simply states that pressure can be assumed to be uniformly distributed over the entire contact surface area of the friction disk. Uniform pressure theory is all about that the pressure can be assumed to be uniformly distributed. Uniformly. So, without wasting much time, guys, all these, what you just need uh, is to know, guys, they talk about the pressure, which is uh, uniformly, uh, which is uniformly distributed there. Then you know that it is what? Uniform pressure. Or they specify you are dealing with a new clutch. That is what you just need, guys. All these theory, the ah, guys, waste of time. Let us go to the calculations. So as we can see, uh, dealing with uh, concentric circles, we talked about this, guys, that we are going to be having uh, the part where we have got uh, the inner radius. Then we are going to have the part where we have got the outer radius from the same center, but we have got the outer radius. So this time, because of uh, our components being new or old, we are going to be working with the equivalent, which is actually the effective radius, all right? Which is from the center to this part, this one will be our effective radius. That is the major consideration that we have. Effective what? Radius. So the effect, where the effective radius is, that's where we have the frictional force, which is, that is where the friction is concentrated. Where we have this the frictional force is concentrated there at that point on the effective radius. That is where the, uh, the, the friction is concentrated. Yeah. So what is it that we're going to consider as part of our calculations, uh, guys, here is just that uh, we're going to need one, the pressure which is that constant pressure. Remember you're saying it is uniform pressure. Uniform simply means what? Constant. So the constant pressure that we are talking about, it is simply taken from force over area. 
but the force that we are referring is the normal force. So we're going to talk of the normal force. So this is our pressure in what Pascals, guys. All right. So, guys, we have got our normal uh, force. Remember, force is in Newton. And um, this is our area in what? In uh, square meters. So that is the major consideration that we are going to simply need on the constant pressure. It is the same. That is the, our intensity pressure. All right. Then we talked of the effective radius for being a new clutch under this uniform pressure we can have that effective radius calculated all right so the formula for the effective radius can be given as all right so this is it guys so you must consider what are you dealing with we are under the new clutch which is our effective uh, radius is given by the formula 2 over 3 uh, into R to the exponent of 3 minus this one to the exponent of 3 over R squared minus R squared. So, guys, we talked about this uh, where we have got our R there as our outer radius. Remember, that's our outer radius. In what? In meters. Then the small letter R there is our inner radius, which is also in what? In meters. So, that's it. We can calculate our effective radius also in what? In meters. So thus, the friction radius. Remember, this is where our friction is concentrated. So it can be referred to as the friction radius. That's the friction radius. They can have it in that manner. All right, another part that you also need is the axial force. All right, that's another one that you're going to need, which is our axial uh, force. So the axial force can be calculated. Remember from our previous calculations, guys, we talked about this one, uh, that the force, remember there is this one here where we have got force. If we make force, the subject is simply pressure times what? pressure times area so meaning to say we talked about this formula guys from our advanced calculation force is what pressure times area all right so the area as we can see we are dealing with what concentric circles so it's gonna be r squared uh pi r squared minus the r squared which is the smaller one you talked about this so meaning to say our axial force can be pressure uh times pi into what r squared minus r squared this is what for the area here yeah, it is the area or remember i also said we can have this if you are dealing with the diameters you can also deal with the diameters guys it's up to you uh this formula is just a repetition we talked about this uh from our advanced calculations so these formulas they work end in end guys they work end in end they do work hand in hand. That is what you need to know. So on your uniform pressure theory, guys, be very, 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 very careful what you're dealing with. New clutch. And in that consideration, as we calculated this, uh, our F, you see there, we have got uh, the normal force. We, we, know, we are not having a formula there. We just heard from the pressure. And here we are a, a, exactly having the formula for what? The axial force. Here we are just talking about what? Our normal force. Now we have got the exact formula for the axial uh, force. So in this consideration, when the clutch is new, we are going to notice that our axial force is simply equivalent to the normal force. So that is it, guys. So we've got our axial force must be equal to the what? To the normal force. All right, just like that. So this is what I want you to go through. And also the calculations on the torque, guys, that part also, it is the same uh, calculations, the torque that is being what? Transmitted. So the, uh, the torque transmitted can also be calculated. So take note. The torque that is transmitted, uh, we have to consider by the friction clutch is general 
the, there is the general equation that we have to consider. Just the general equation, the torque that is transmitted. Here I'm talking from what? Our general equation. Remember, there is our general equation. All right. I'm going to specify uh, later on these two uh, when we consider to say for which type of a clutch. But from our general equation of the torque, guys, it is given that the torque is equivalent to what? Remember, we said the coefficient of friction times the normal force. Remember, we're using the axial force. So you were considering what? The normal force. and But we've specified for in our consideration, guys, our Fn, which is our normal force, and what? The axial force are simply the same. We talked about this. So having axial force is simply the same. Times resistance. Uh, sorry, guys. Now I'm going to do electrical. No, guys. This is the radius, not resistance, but the radius that we are having. Equivalent radius which is the effective one. So our effective radius is the one now that we are considering from where? Guys, not guys what you're dealing with. What are you dealing with? A new clutch, uniform pressure theory. So that effective radius is the one that we calculated here. It is the one that is going to differ this one for the type of theory, the theory that we are dealing with, actually, all right? Or the type of clutch to say, is it new or old? All right, so do not forget also uh, to multiply by the number of what? Contact surfaces, which are the uh, ones that we have at the end. Uh, they are supposed to be mentioned or to be specified. So we had this formula before. Uh, it is just a continuation, guys, as we can see. But we are saying, under uniform pressure theory, the torque can be calculated differently to the specific clutch. Is it a con or is it a plate? So that is what we are going to have now to say we are going to consider the torque on or of a con. Of a corn clutch. So, guys, the other thing, um, uh, those ones who needed like other subject guys for for mechanical. Well, I I don't think we're not gonna have those ones because guys, there's a lot that we need to cover. You see now, we end up talking these are like now you have resistance. Like we're now doing electrical engineering, guys. What you're asking me to do is a lot. It's a lot, guys. But anyways, um, we just gonna have to do our mechano techniques uh, up to the end. Uh, that one, I promise, we're just going to try by all means to have it done up to the end, just like what we did on other electrical subjects. Uh, we had them up to the end. So this is the same thing also that we are going to have, guys, for our mechano techniques. But for strength, guys, uh, for strength, you're going to forgive me because... Uh, we we have like a lot of uh, stuff in Meccano, like you see guys from, it was actually supposed to start from Meccano Technology N3. It's only that those N3 subjects, they are now going to be phased out, you know. So meaning to say we're going to start from N4, N5, N6, you see, of which strength of materials is just N5, N6. So you can make plan and strength of materials, guys, revise your engineering science. In, in fact, like, it's a combination of all your mechanical subjects. I don't know how can I put it. So, but for the time frame now, we'll make sure that you become part of membership so that you do not miss uh, these classes for mechanical guys. There are a lot of, a lot, a lot of videos. So um, you need to, 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 to be part of membership so that you understand each concept. You not know, to say you watch this one, you miss a concept, you watch another one, you miss a concept. I'm not saying it's bad, guys. Do not put me on the bad light. Um, like, I just want you guys, all of you to learn these. All of you. So if it's possible, because some of us, we do not understand this issue of membership. Membership does not mean if you pay to watch a video, you pay just to watch one video, guys. No. If you pay for membership for that month, 
you have access to all all vid all of them all of them in that month you can do whatever that you want in that month you can learn whatever that that is all in one month not to say when you are under membership it is one video you have to pay another one you have to pay another one you have to no 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 you pay once like you just pay like this for for that month you you are open like they 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 open for you to watch all videos that you can any sub any subject not only make an any as long as long as under n5 to n6 anyone power machines whatever that we have you see so this one i think i'm gonna explain again because the reason why i'm explaining this is because I, I have some comments which are on membership, which like I say, like the person is not understanding what is happening there. But I explained, maybe I did not add that one. So that is the case. So guys, this is it. The token uh, can be calculated of a con clutch, a con, specifically a con for uniform pressure. Remember? We are still under our new, uh, uniform pressure, which is for new art, which is uh, for new uh, clutches. All right? Which is our uniform pressure. So that is what we're going to have. What about a plate? Because we said the uniform pressure, remember on our, on our introduction when I talked about this uniform, um, when I talked about the theory of friction, I mean, we say it, it is used on what? Corn and plate. The plate one or the plane. What about on a plate clutch? That is what we need also. So that is another part. Uh, they talk to be considered of a plane or a plate. Remember I say these, uh, these clutches, they are going to be explained later on one by one, one by one. Here we just need the formulas that are important on the piece that we need. There's a, a piece that we just need to take, but we're going to talk about them one by one later on. So the torque can be given. Uh, that's the coefficient of friction times our axial force. Uh, then we're going to have R cubed minus R cubed. As you can see here, the only thing is that the beta will be at 90 degrees when it is a plate. The beta will be at 90 degrees. So guys, we do understand that the sine of 90 degrees is equal to 1. So meaning to say here it was going to be 3 times 1, which is what? Which is 3. So we are not going to have that sine beta, not because it is not there, but because it was 90 degrees. So they don't specify the angle. They don't specify. So you just need to know that the sine of beta won't be there because it is equivalent to 1. So it will be 3 times this part which is remaining, uh, which is what? R uh, squared minus R squared. So that is our torque that we are going to have in what? In uh, Newton meters. So that is it. Everything, guys, is still the same. The outer radius, the inner radius. Nothing has changed. So we are going to use these guys' formulas to answer as long it is on the uniform pressure theory, as long we are dealing with a new clutch. As long we are dealing with the new clutches, it is very, very important that we do understand these formulas. So we shall meet again in the next class, uh, working with examples now. So like I said, for you not to miss those examples, Make sure that you do join the membership so that you won't miss any class. Till we meet again.